According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, accidents involving elevators kill approximately 30 people every year in the United States and seriously injure another 17,000. We all expect that an elevator will not move before its doors are completely closed and secure. But there have been incidents where an elevator begins to move with open car and or hoistway doors. These are the times when serious, often fatal elevator accidents occur. We all remember the horrific accident that led to the death of Suzanne Hart at 285 Madison Avenue in New York City. What makes an elevator capable of moving with open doors? Basically, there are two reasons. First, human error. Secondly, a technical malfunction. Every elevator has a safety circuit chain, including circuits to prevent an elevator car from moving with an open door. These safety circuits include both the interlocks on the hoistway doors and the gate switch monitoring the car door. Elevator mechanics need, from time to time, to move an elevator with open doors when that's required for elevator repair. To accomplish this, the elevator mechanic must bypass the door lock circuit, which he does with a simple jumper wire. Elevator accidents happen when such bypassing is done in a negligent manner. One person in the wrong place at the wrong time and a tragic accident occurs. Unintentional door lock bypassing could occur as a result of a malfunction such as a short circuit in the elevator controller. Both cases result in car movement with open doors, which leads to serious elevator accidents. To overcome this problem, we invented the fail-safe safety guard, or the FSSG. Here's how the FSSG works. This life-saving device is connected in series with the interlock circuit to constantly monitor for any bypass of the door interlocks. Upon detection, it automatically switches the elevator control from automatic to inspection mode, thus preventing passengers from using it. Taking a look at the front of the FSSG, you'll note there's three LEDs on the front panel. The green LED indicates the status of the door lock line. On state indicates that the interlock circuit has integrity and the elevator is operating safely. The red LED indicates a jumper or bypass has been detected and the elevator has been switched from automatic to inspection mode. The yellow LED indicates that although the elevator failure has been repaired, the jumper or bypass still exists. The alarm warns loudly until that jumper or bypass is removed and the situation rectified. Under any circumstances, the FSSG keeps the elevator out of automatic mode as long as the bypass exists. That's the way the FSSG prevents elevator accidents. The FSSG adds efficiency that can be appreciated by both the building owner and the elevator company. With the FSSG in place, an open interlock can be quickly located and the needed repairs performed. With the FSSG, the elevator mechanic knows in real time the status of the interlocks, even when the jumper is on, no more guessing and searching for a faulty door lock. It only takes one elevator tragedy to destroy the public trust and a company's reputation for years to come.